pigeons are known to fly in a very coordinated way and have a great ability to navigate home. We have recorded tracks of pigeons by miniature GPS devices they carried. Animated videos of the recorded data points vividly visualize the delicate collective decision-making process taking place while the pigeons are trying to find the best way during their flight home. Collective motion refers to flocks of birds or schools of fish, to all sorts of uh, complicated uh, flight or collective motion patterns in nature exhibited by gregarious animals. We came to the conclusion that one of the best ways to understand how animals move together is to build robots, flying robots, drones. We bought a dozen of relatively cheap commercially available quadrocopters that can be controlled with a manual remote controller. We equipped the copters with a homemade hardware layer that turns these machines into self-steering drones. This hardware layer integrates all the incoming data from the environment from other drones and creates high-level steering commands like the actual desired velocity or position. With the proper flocking algorithms fed to this new brain, the copters are able to fly autonomously, which could totally eliminate the need for manual control, and the group of quadrocopters can perform flights and tasks on their own. Thus, uh, we have decided to build a flock of autonomous robots. A car is not autonomous. Of course, a car can also be autonomously behaving if it has a brain, either in the form of a person or in a, the form of a huge computer equipped with sensors. We had to do this uh, for small flying objects. Prior attempts uh, to produce flocks of uh, quadrupters included an approach which was uh, confined to a given area and the individual robots had to communicate with the central computer outside. In our case, each quadrupter is equipped with a little brain in the form of an onboard computer. They are completely autonomous in the sense that all of the decisions concerning their directions, uh, flights, positions are decided by themselves. After the drones were instructed to form a circle, each drone finds its position along the circle. Even the direction of rotation is decided collectively by the positions of drones before the circle formation. If drones receive an external command to change the shape of their formation, they are able to reorder autonomously into a line, segment or a grid. The quadcopters follow a so-called informed individual that leads them along a predefined trajectory. This time, the drone playing the role of the leader is semi-autonomous. It is controlled by a program to move along a given route, but it makes autonomous decisions to avoid collisions. Actual GPS track records of the flight are shown in the animation for better visualization of the process. A number of possible collective flight patterns are reproduced by our flock of drones. It is possible to define imaginary soft walls that are not penetrable by the robots. If the wall is cylindrical or it is a rectangle around the flock, then the flock moves along a self-organized semi-random trajectory. If there are obstacles in the way and there is only a narrow gap they can move through, then the robots show signs of jamming. Drones are most commonly associated with war, terrorism and cyber attacks, but drones can be used in more peaceful civil applications as well. In the century of global warming, low-cost environmental or agricultural monitoring is a must. With a flock of drones, you can create a self-organized monitoring system from the air, or you can even deliver food or mail. Our future is most probably overwhelmed with drones, and it is our responsibility how we use them. 
indeed, studying the flock of robots, of drones, has allowed us to understand much better the group flight of uh, birds, for example. It is by now clear that the reaction times between the units have to be extremely short in order to maintain coherent motion. And in, that, in addition to that, the units have to be able to predict the next move of the others to maintain the high level of coherence.